welcome to the AJ Awesome Show, a show about my favorite things. My name is AJ and my special guest for this episode is Mickey James. I hope you like the show! Hi, I hope you're having a great day and... Thank you a lot for being on my show. Oh, AJ, thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. I appreciate you having me on. Why did you decide to become a wrestler? Um, you know, I was a big wrestling fan. I used to watch it with my dad all the time. So I was a huge wrestling fan. Uh, and, you know, we say these things. As I'm sure you I'm like, oh, I'm going to be this. And I'm going to be that. And I would say, oh, dad, I'm going to be a wrestler. I can't wait. I'm going to be a wrestler. And um, it wasn't until after I got out of high school and I was all finished with my high school and not really knowing what to do with my life. And I, it just kind of destiny stepped in. A friend of mine said, hey, my buddy, I was working, you know, at, and my friend goes, my buddy has a wrestling school and that's what he does. You love wrestling so much. I think that you'd be really good at it. You're a natural athlete. I've ridden horses all my life. And um, yeah, I went up and I signed up. I went up that day. I checked it out and I signed up and I've been doing it ever since. And that was like 20 years ago. What advice would you give a new wrestler? Would I give a new wrestler? Um, I think... Hmm. That's a hard one because everybody's path is so different, right? Like my path in wrestling was much different than perhaps like a Maria Kanellis who she didn't wrestle prior to coming in to through the diva search. So um, if it's someone who is coming in like kind of the way I did and like the sense of like going to a wrestling school, I would say make sure that you do your research and find a really great school, a really great school that has like top trainers, recognized and respected trainers, and that has a success rate of producing um, stars or, or, or people who have gone on to be successful because there's different levels of, of success. A lot of people think, oh, to make it, you have to make it in WWE, but there's a lot of places to go now and to be very, very successful in this industry. Um, so uh yeah i would say find a really great school um promos i'm a character person i'm a character girl like wrestling is very important but your promos like this is your money right here and this you know so uh promos and character development and be open you know be open to different people's ideas and be open to criticism and corrective criticism without you know, beating yourself up about it. I think that was always the hardest thing for me when I was training. Yeah. Would you be happy if your son was a wrestler or what would, or would you tell him no? Um, I probably would not tell him no because I struggle telling him no. Um, I would hope that he would go to college first. Um, before I really like I would let him train I would let him work but I think before I would let allow him or hopefully I mean obviously you know I I, I would hope <laughs> are you tired yeah I woke up at maybe nine thirty. wow I was, thought I was boring you there I woke up at six this morning and I hate waking up early and now I then I couldn't go back to sleep you know once you're awake it's like I struggle. It's like I struggle to go back to sleep. And then I want to nap at like 5 p.m. And then I don't want to get back up. <laughs> uh, but to answer your question, yes, I absolutely would allow him to wrestle. I would want him to get his um, college education first because I think that, you know, we go through all these these curves and growth spirit. But then I go, I got my college education as I was wrestling. You know, I went back to college after I was in Louisville when I was in developmental. So I was actually with the company when I went back and got my degree. So everyone's different. Everyone's so different. But I think he wants to be a train engineer, though. That's where he's headed right now. That's where his head's at. Are you and Nick ever competitive as wrestlers? Like, do we, when we get into fights, do we wrestle each other? 
No, I mean, like, do you ever argue about who has the most title wins or has the most special career and stuff like that? Uh, um, no, I know we don't argue. I don't think we argue about that. I do find, you know, it's a weird balance because relationshiping in the business is very hard because not everybody like our careers are so separate because we've pretty much, you know, we've never really been aligned except for right after I had Donovan um, together. It's always, he's always had his separate title runs and separate storylines. And I've always had my own, which I really love because I think that it's always, uh, we always said before, like wrestling cannot define, like we have to have other stuff to talk about besides wrestling or it would never, it's never going to work. And, um, so we've always made it a point, and I think that's why our careers have been so separate. And even, like, I'm so proud of him and, and all the work he's doing with NWA, the real world's champion and his promos and everything. Like, I just, I love it. I love it. And he's always proud of me, and I think it creates a good balance because, you know, we are not in competition with one another because we're two completely different characters and people and with two different careers. So, you know. We try to lift each other up, you know? Everybody else, the internet will break you down, AJ. We just try to lift each other up. <laughs> Are you working on any new music? I am. I am. Um, I've been working on this next album, which obviously has kind of put, been put in a little bit of a standstill because some of the studios are closed and stuff, but um, I've been working on this next album to be all originals, all stuff that I've written on or co-written, you know? So I'm excited about that. And then I was thinking about re-releasing my first album, the one that I, like, Strangers and Angels from 2010, because I thought, oh, it's a 10-year anniversary, and, you know. But, yeah, that's the, the one that I'm working on currently, um, which will probably come out next year. I was hoping to have it out this year, but it's kind of been put back. Well, it's going to be all my own stuff, all my own original stuff. Would you ever want to write your own entrance music? I would love to. You know, I've written my own entrance music before. Well, co-wrote, whatever. Hardcore country. I helped write that. So I would love to write. I, it's funny because I say that and I keep going like, oh, you know, I would love to change my music up. But I feel like my music at this point, I've had the same. I'm like one of the few people in WWE whose music has never really changed. It's the same. Here we are, you know, 15 years later from my debut, and it's still the same music. <laughs> so at this point, I'm like, oh, do I really want to change it now? It's I don't know. really iconic. It is. Well, I mean, it's no, it's not like when Ric Flair's music hits or anything, but it's pretty up there. I mean, it makes you want to jump and bounce around and maybe clap your hands. What is your favorite cheat meal? Uh, um, dark chocolate. There's these new, oh God, the whole meal or just cheat foods? Cheat meal. Um, ribs. Ribs are my favorite cheat foodie, like meal kind of like really nicely done, like I love barbecue. Anything barbecue, really. Whether it's barbecue sandwich, ribs, um, all caught. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. With, like, baked beans and potato salad, that's my favorite. Um, but, like, cheap foodie things, snacks, there's these new Dove chocolates that are mint and dark chocolate. And they're out of this world. That's my new favorite thing. But usually it's dark chocolate and then potato chips. <laughs> like, like, salty. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, salty potato chips. I don't really like dark, dark chocolate a lot. I like white chocolate more. Oh, you're a white chocolate eater. See, I don't really like white chocolate a whole lot. Not a fan of it. It's too, it, I think it's too sweet. I like it a lot because of the sweetness. Yeah, see? Whereas, Dar, you probably think dark chocolate is too bitter. Yeah. Yeah. See? 
And I also really like barbecue wings. Uh, Those are one of my favorite foods ever. Barbecue wings, I get you. Did you see my wing trick? No. Um, well, if you go on my Instagram, there's, are you on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you go on my Instagram on my last IGTV, because Wednesday was national chicken wing day and there's a wing trick. It's only works on the flats though, not the drumsticks. You have to gnaw on the drumsticks like normal, but I have a special wing trick. You should totally do it. It did a chicken wing challenge. So now I'm challenging you to do the chicken wing challenge. You have to do the chicken wing challenge, but it's a special trick on how to two bite eat the chicken wing. You do something like you eat the top in one bite and then you eat the bottom in one bite. No, you got to squeeze it and you push the, you squeeze it in between the two bones and you push it down and then you can just write off the whole thing. You can dip it and then do it or. Mm -hmm. We got. Emos, I ate the chicken wings because I don't really like the pizza a lot there. And my sister showed me that, actually. Yeah. It's a very special trick. A friend of mine showed it to me, and now I'm sharing it with the world. <laughs> so are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? Yes. Okay, sweet. Sweet. I can't wait. I'll do it the next time I get chicken wings. I love it. I love it. Whose idea was it to start the GAW TV show? Um, I want to say it was all of our ideas, you know, maybe it was Miss Corona's idea. I don't know. Uh, I think the three of us had talked about doing a show together um, for a while now. And due to the situation of us all being kind of stuck at home and we had so much time and we were really going like, what are we going to do? We should just, and then we finally just went, you know what, we should just do the show. And, you know, I'd come up with Gaw, the, the, the title and the concept with Foxy when I was teaming with Fox, because we were just like, you know, we're on the road together and we're, you know, we've been both been in this business for a long time and been on the road and in the locker rooms and stuff. So it's just seen so much stuff. And so it's taken a long time to get to that level of like feeling grown, you know, um, completely on every level in that sense. But so that's who I came, we came up with the idea of like the gall, team gall and all that stuff. And then as we, you know, really thought about it, I'm like, this could be like a whole, like super inspirational kind of thing for, to empower women or to empower like fe fellow sisters, both in all kinds of arenas, because it's a really, you know, we live in a man's world and people like to say that. And I don't like to think that it's so much of a man's world anymore now that we're getting so many more especially in wrestling, you know, in sports, all sports, we're getting so many uh, more opportunities than we ever have. And we're really finally starting to get the recognition that we deserved and be like looked at on the same level as the men as an equal. And it's, and it's taken a long time to get to that point. And I think it's a really, really amazing. And what better time to really embrace it and, and, you know, embrace everything it's taken to get to that moment and to be a grown woman in today's society. So yeah, it's fun. It's lighthearted. We like to laugh and joke and it's like cackling a pajama party with my girlfriends every Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. My mom, my mom told me you guys wear pajamas a whole lot on the show. That's all we wear is pajama or lounge lounge wear. Sleep pants are um, like sleep pants, lots of sleep pants. I have a lot of fleece sleep pants. They're my favorite. They're so cozy. Um, yeah. Who would you pick to be your tag team partner from current women's wrestler? Ooh. Huh. Well, I don't know. I don't for... Because I'm like, hmm, I'm going to pick Naomi. Yeah, I would, I would love to have her as a, she's so beautiful. She's so talented and athletic. And I just think that she's funny and vibrant and our personalities would really bounce off each other um, pretty well. 
I think we'd be funny together. And uh, yeah, I think she'd be a pretty awesome tag team partner. A lot of people ask, when are you returning to the ring? What would you tell them? Soon. Very soon. Uh, it's been, you know, this has been a really unique because I was, I was supposed, I was so close to getting cleared right before WrestleMania. I was pretty much supposed to be cleared before, right before WrestleMania. And then due to the pandemic, I really was like, everything was closed. I couldn't get cleared. I was healthy. I was good to go, but I would, but everything was shut down. So then I just kind of got stuck there. Um, and now it's like, I'm, I finally got cleared. And so I don't know. I don't know. Very soon. I will say soon, darling. Soon. Oh, no. That sucks. What? That you j just got cleared. And then the whole pandemic thing just shut wrestling down. Yeah. Well, I was out because I was only halfway. I was just waiting for the last, the final clearance. It's like this final exam of like, you have to go through so many weeks of like at the PC at the performance center because even though I was cleared by my medically cleared by my doctors, it's another thing to return to sport and to return to in ring sport, because what we do is pretty crazy. And it's a unique surface that we're on. It's not like just running outside on the ground or even on like an Astro turf or anything like that. So, um, there was, I just had like a week left, a week left before I got cleared. And then that's when everything shut down. I know it was epic timing, but you know what, AJ, I will say this. I have a five-year-old son. And uh, your mom must be so proud of you because I would be so proud. Uh, but I have a five-year-old and this was really his last year before he was supposed to go to kindergarten. Like he'd went to preschool, did all that. And this was, so I just totally took it as a blessing in the sense of it was my last full summer with D to play. And I know he's going to have his summers off at school or whatever, but at the same time, it was like, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. And now it's just, I'm just going to take this and enjoy it and enjoy the time with my son, enjoy the summer with my son. And, you know, whenever it's time for me to go back to work, it'll happen. And so I just got cleared and, uh, yeah, we'll see. I have to go back to school in like August. You are going back to school. Are you going to go back in or are you going to do online classes? We're going to do... We're going to school, we're going to homeschool, like the school's going to give us the work and we're going to do it at home. That's what I think I'm going to do with Donovan. Cause the same, because, uh, you know, it's weird because, you know, in Tennessee, they want, we're in Tennessee, but I'm also in Virginia. So I have a Virginia, my Richmond after Virginia address. And then I have the Nashville address and I'm like, honestly, Nashville wants to send them more back to school, back inside. And I'm like, you know, it's not even just about the students. Yeah, sure, their immune system is higher and there's less of a chance. It's about the teachers. It's about the principals. It's about the, the uh, teacher's aid. It's about the assistants getting the kids on and off the buses. It's about the nurses and the administration and the all these other people, the cafeteria, the custodians, all these extra people where I'm going like, mm, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's, I would rather just homeschool and wait for it to be ready, you know, in this whole thing to, you know, because I can't imagine a bunch of kids constantly wearing their masks all day, or I just, I know Donovan wouldn't, you know, he'd probably wear it for the first five minutes and then it would be done. I just know. For people like me, I have a brother who's high risk. So yeah. for us, it's not worth it at all. It's not worth it. No. And that's unfortunate. And I think about that too, because my grandma, she's high risk. And I was like, I don't, even though I know I would probably be okay and D and, and Nick would be fine. It's more about the people that you interact with and that you care about. So I, and I knew she was, she was high risk. She is high risk as well. And so, yeah, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it to take that risk. I mean, obviously, you know, you, we can't walk around in bubbles all day, but it, you, you could be smart and protect yourself as much as you can. You know what I mean? And like, I just don't see a reason to put your, ourselves or for me anyway, and, and everybody's different. Like, to put my child in that situation to then be a carrier without even knowing it and then affecting someone that it could really hurt, you know, and I, and I do feel in my heart that 
it's going to go like we're going to get past it and move past it. And it's going to get to a space where hopefully the kids can go back to school. Because, goodness, I don't want him to miss out on that. Like, those were some amazing times going to school, like and seeing my friends and riding the bus and all these memories from school. So certainly I hate that the kids, you guys are missing out on all that fun stuff because I know you guys are looking forward to it. But, you know, stinky situation. Yeah. It'll be out over soon. Out of all your title wins, is there one that is the most special to you? Um, the first one is always, it's like your first love. Uh, the first one was always the most special, I think, you know, against Trish. Um, I've had so, you know, so many title, title reigns, and, and I've been very, very blessed to have the career that I've had. Um, and that I have. But I think the first one, because... You know, when you've worked for so hard for so long to get to that space and it's finally it's like your dreams are coming true in this like magical moment. And you're like, oh, this is everything. It's everything. It, it Was it worth everything that I sacrificed? Yes. Was this moment? I think I was very fortunate because it was at WrestleMania, too. So it was at the grandest stage of them all. It was you know what I mean? It was like there were so many like the stars were completely in line to be the greatest night of my life. And it really, really was. And so. I think that one will always be my favorite. Um, and then right behind that is the next one I'm going to win. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite Disney movie? Oh, my. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins has been my favorite for a very, very long time. It's one of my favorite. I think it's because... Um, I love the idea of them jumping in and out of reality of like, this was them. And then they could jump into the cartoon and then jump back out of it into real life. Like, I, and I just, yeah, I love every, I still love that movie, everything about it. My favorite has to be either Wally. -E. Some people say it's not a Disney movie. It's a Pixar movie, but, but they work. The same, right? Aren't they the same? Yeah, I think. Yeah, because I have the Disney Channel, and Disney and Pixar are both on the Disney Plus, the Disney Plus thing. Wally's a good one. Wally's a good one. What's the other one? Also, the Lion King is one of them. Or Did the you see little the new one. Did you see the new Lion King? No. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And what was the third one? I'm sorry. And maybe Little Mermaid, that one was a good one. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. That was a surprising one, I think. But I loved that one. That's the end. Thanks for the interview. Oh, my goodness. You're so sweet. AJ, I was really looking forward to this interview all week. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me on. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the AJ Awesome Show. I would like to thank Mickey James for being my special guest. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.